Come on, you didn't think I'd start the new year without doing a setup video, did you? Intro. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm super excited to finally bring you guys this video. Took me a little longer than I wanted, obviously it's a couple weeks already into the new year. Uh, I wanted to do this early, but I, I guess this is still early as far as I'm concerned. Uh, had a few things to get done with this whole setup and it's finally done enough to where I can actually show this to you guys and kind of be proud of it. Uh, and I'm very excited to show it to you guys. So I'm gonna take you through my new setup that I built for this year uh, in my new house, my new space, and what I basically have so far. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy seeing uh, a couple of things that I did in this office. It's a little bit different than my last one. Uh, I personally love the look of it. I have much more space, basically double the space than I had in the last area. So I have a lot more room to move around and do different shots. I have different sets that I've set up for you guys. So I'll take you through them all. And maybe you guys might pick up a few tips for your own setup and uh, hopefully something that can help you out because I'll show you a few things that maybe you guys didn't know about. So let's go ahead and get this camera off the tripod and I'll take you guys around the space. All right. So here is the setup, you guys. Oh man, I'm so excited to show this office to you guys. I love it so much. So to be honest, don't even know where to start, but uh, I guess we'll start with just the, uh, the video making setup, I guess. I kind of already explained this to you in one of my last videos, but uh, you guys know about the audio already. So I'll kind of just say, Here's my easy SMX chair. Obviously I'm still sitting in this guy. Love that chair. Things awesome. I have a video on that. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it up here. Um, let's see. There's my Rode uh, video mic pro plus things. Awesome. I use it as a, uh, you know, regular vlogging mic and stuff like that too. Uh, but of course I'm using the video micro on top of the 6,500 right now because I got my Sony a seven three right there. That is my main shooter with the Sony 55 millimeter F 1.8. Uh, that thing is freaking awesome. Love that sharpest lens ever. Freaking awesome. Highly recommend it. Uh, and then there's just a, uh, feel world 4k, you know, little monitor right there that I used to see myself really trying not to look at that anymore, guys. I know some of you are super annoyed that I do that, but I'm really trying. I promise. Uh, then that's sitting on a nice little tripod. I think that is, what is this actually from? Uh, pro master actually. Yeah. I think I bought that at a camera store here in town. So yeah, this corner really guys, it's, uh, kind of just my, I'd say my filming corner is what I'm calling it. That's why there's really nothing on this wall over here. Uh, I, all, I got my light right here too. Forgot to say that. Uh, this is one of my softbox lights from, I think it's uh Neewer makes this. And uh, of course I'll link this in the description. If you guys are interested, uh, highly recommend using a softbox to light your face. Uh, cause it gives you that really cinematic look when you uh, light half your face and you kind of have that nice uh, cinematic lighting. So highly recommend that if you guys want one of those, uh, they come in a two pack. That's why the other one is actually right here. And I use this as kind of like a fill light for, um, let's go underneath this little guy. I kind of use it as a fill light to, uh, cast some light in the back of my, uh, set up back here. I can move that around. Obviously it's modular just on a pole right there. Um, but I use these little guys. They're just little gels. They go over top of your lights. 
Um, I got those from Niwer as well. There's a whole big pack. It comes with like two of each color, which is pretty awesome. Obviously, those will be in the description too. Um, pretty awesome. You can change whatever color you want and they're super, super useful. I love them. And yeah, so that's that corner, you guys. Like I said, over there is just all of my, it's my Pelican case that I did a video on, uh, my extra cases for stuff when I need to go out of the office and do something, um, and just all of my extra gear that I can't put on my shelf and stuff is in that case over there. So that's just where I'm keeping it for now. Don't really 100% know what I'm doing with that wall over there. Uh, right now, like I said, it's just the film wall, has my stands, all that kind of stuff. So that's what it's gonna stay for now. Um, also, didn't even mean to leave this on the floor, but I have one of these guys. This is a Rove um, Pro slider from Rhino Sliders. And uh, yeah, there's gonna be a video coming on this thing. Don't worry about it. I've been using this to get a lot of cinematic shots in my videos lately, and I absolutely love it. So that brings us over to this table here. We're gonna put this down and uh, we'll show you this little guy. So this wall right here, I was finally able to make a really cool like gear type shelf. I've always wanted to do one of these. I got my uh, Zune Crane 2, I still use that thing. Thing is awesome. I actually might do like a new video on that thing. I've never done a video on it before, but I kind of need to do like a, you know, like maybe two years later review on it because I've been using it forever and it's my workhorse and that thing is freaking amazing, I love it. Uh, all my lenses will go right here. Obviously, you can see one is missing, and that is the Sigma uh, 16 mil f1.4. That is on the camera right now, so that's where that would normally go. Got my uh, Mavic uh, Pro Platinum right there, GoPro Hero 7 Black, a couple Joby stands, because uh, I use those all the time. So just kind of like my film gear. Uh, I guess I'll take you through the lenses too. That is my, what, my 18-105 to uh, APS-C lens. That is my 16-35 to f4 full frame lens, and that is my Sony 85 millimeter f1.8. Favorite portrait lens ever, thing's awesome. Other than my 55 millimeter, which is over here, like I said, love that lens too. But those two prime lenses, those are like probably my favorite lenses I have. But yeah, that's kind of like my little gear shelf of uh, stuff that I love, and I kind of always wanted to do that, so I was really stoked that I could make that. Um, then of course I got these lights right here, just kind of add a little more feel to it. Um, and then up here is a photo of mine that I got printed. Uh, a little while ago. Um, it's an older photo. I'm probably gonna replace that with a new photo. This is at Multnomah Falls, um, kind of over on the west side of Washington. Uh, if you guys have lived around here, you guys know where this is. So I had this on my Instagram and I really liked it, so I printed it. Uh, but I actually took, last year I took a uh, better photo of this that shows even more of it. Um, and in my opinion, it's an overall better photo. So I'm probably gonna print that and replace with replace that anyway so yeah so here is this this table down here is going to be like my utility table I'll probably do uh, you know like maybe product reviews right here where I can actually because I can use the shelf to clip stuff to it maybe lights stuff like that um, and then uh, put product right here and kind of review it on this table if I feel like it this thing I got off uh, Amazon and it is really cool this thing is a little modular arm that you can actually uh, you put your camera on the end right here and uh, this is actually a dummy battery for my A6500, so I can uh, like use it continuously on this arm right here, so the battery will never die. If you have an A6500 or something like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. The battery life sucks, so when you're constantly filming, you need one of these guys. I'll link this in the description below too if you guys are interested. Um, but this arm right here is pretty dope. Um, like I said, it's got these little clamps. If you pull these like this, you can pretty much bend this arm any which way you want, and then I can mount my camera on the end of it and pretty much hang it right over top of my uh, table here, and then you get this like cool top-down view of everything. So if you guys see me shooting uh, B-roll or like product openings and stuff like that, that is exactly how I do that. It's using this arm or something similar. Um, so highly recommend it, you guys. If you guys want one, again, it'll be listed in the description below. Thing's freaking awesome. All right, moving on. So uh, underneath the table is just my little bins that I've had for years. And then that brings me over here to my cool little shelf that I bought. Um, I bought this mainly so there was like a background when I was streaming, but uh, it ended up being something that I'm probably just gonna keep in the corner here next to my other stuff because it actually, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, there's the little cube light that I've, I've had for quite a while. I actually really love that thing. Uh, I did a video on that. And then pretty much every Ryzen processor I've ever done a build with, uh, there's actually I think one or two more that I've done, but they're like duplicates of those ones. But these are like the uh, the five, three, and sevens that I've used. 
Then of course, you know, my camera, stuff like that. That's my old A6000 that I don't even use anymore. Uh, I may do like another video on that because this is still an awesome camera to take photos with and do video if you guys are just starting out. This is my very first camera that I ever bought uh, and got started with YouTube with, so I will never get rid of this camera. I'm gonna keep this thing probably forever. That's my uh, my favorite camera because it's my first camera, so that's why it's gotta be on my shelf. Now this brings me to this wall right here, which I really love. I used my cool little sound panels and kind of did a little I don't know, circle type thing around the disc plates. And you guys will recognize a couple of these disc plates that I had. I had the Maverick one and the Marty McFly one, but I got two new ones. I got this X-Files one. Huge fan of the X-Files, watched it way back in the day with my parents and stuff. My family loves this show. So got the I Wanna Believe disc plate right there. Love it. It's like the, you know, still the 80s retro theme. I love those things. And then of course, Harry Potter, Hogwarts, gotta have that one too, loved it. I just saw these two, they, uh, they turned out to be something that I really wanted, so I just got these, they're super high quality, love displays. Again, I did a video on those too, if you guys wanna see it, it'll be up here somewhere. Um, and then yeah, little sound, sound dampening panels on the walls to try to fight the echo because there's still a bit of echo in here even though I put everything on the walls. Um, but again, this wall over here has like nothing on it, so there's still gonna be a little bit of echo. All right, so that brings me over to the desk. The like main thing that you guys wanna see is my desk. Look at this, I think it looks so clean this time around, I love it. Um, I, did a, I did the L shape again, just like I used to have, um, but you know, I took my little plant and my, my Ikea lamp right here, put it on the end here. I just left my glasses there because I was using them earlier when I was editing a video. Um, and I use this as just kind of, I can actually do product on this too. This is like the past couple of videos you guys have seen, I probably have done the product right there um, because I can also take that arm I just showed you and actually mount it to this table as well and still do product on this table. So that's pretty cool. I love, like I said, I love how much space I have now to just kind of play around and do whatever I want. Um, and so that brings me over here to the PC. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, I'll go ahead and run through it with you guys real quick. Uh, CPU, it is a Ryzen 7 3700X. Um, it will be overclocked more soon. I'll probably do a video on that so you guys can see what I do. It has uh, 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB RAM at, what is it, 3200 megahertz. And then for the GPU, it's got a EVGA GeForce RTX 2080, as you guys can see right there. It is the black edition, thing's awesome. Uh, it is in a Corsair Crystal Series, uh, was a 570X case, I think, it, I think it is. All tempered glass, all the way around it. Thing is super fancy, super fly, love it. Um, RGB lights out the wazoo, whole bunch of Corsair uh, RGB fans. Only thing that sucks is this LL fan right here, the light loop fan. Uh, if you guys have noticed, half the light loop doesn't work. Uh, I tried to replace that, but uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to just get another pack of light loop fans because uh, no other fans really will work, so yeah. Um, love this build though, thing freaking flies, edits 4K like a champ, and uh, it's probably like the best computer I've ever had, so I love it. Okay, so I guess I'll show you this corner over here. This is just my like networking corner uh, that I kind of hid my uh, wireless router and my modem and everything, so I believe this is a TP-Link Archer, like 1900 is what that is. Thing's awesome, it can handle gigabit internet, um, and same thing with this Netgear router that I, or uh, modem that I got. And uh, thing's pretty awesome as well. It's, uh, it's, it's rated up to speeds of a gigabit or above or something like that. And uh, it's, I'm basically preparing myself for when Comcast in my area can actually handle that. Right now, they have upgraded me to something like, I think it's 700 meg megabits per second, something like that. Uh, so it's a lot faster than I had in the previous um, apartment, which I am very excited about. And then down here, of course, when I upgraded, Xfinity gave me a free, you know, Xfinity home hub or whatever the heck they call it. The, uh, I don't even know what you call these anymore, DVRs, I think they're called. Um, they gave it to me for free, I didn't really want it, but they hooked it up anyway, so I can watch TV in this room if I feel like it, and we can stream uh, TV into my other rooms in my house. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the computer and that's my networking. Of course, we have the Amazon you know what down there, little, little puck in the back. I kind of just hit it this time because you don't really need to see it. Um, my two monitors. This is my uh, LG 4K monitor, love that thing. And then this is my uh, Acer Predator 27-inch uh, uh, 1440p monitor. Did a video on this thing as well, love this monitor. Uh, and you guys seem to really like this monitor too because you guys have viewed that video quite a ton. And then of course, I'll link it up in the, in the, the corner here so you guys can see it if you haven't already. And then of course, right here, this is my Blue Yeti uh, blackout microphone that I use for uh, voiceover and for streaming. Love it, and it's on that cool little arm, the boom arm. Uh, I'll link that in the description below as well, obviously. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, thing works like a champ. You can pretty much turn it and swivel it however you want. 
And the cool thing that I did with this and the setup this time that I did not have last time, I figured this whole thing out is you can actually use this to hold your headphones. So these are my uh, Corsair headphones, the Void uh, Pro RGBs. Um, so, I mean, it's not the cleanest thing in the entire world, but it works. And I kind of just dangled the, uh, the charging cable off of it so I can keep them charged whenever I want and just put it right there. Um, so yeah, it worked out really, really great. And the newest thing that you guys probably have no idea about is my new peripherals that I got. I got this new gigantic Corsair mouse mat. It's even bigger than the one that I was using before. I think I had the MM3 300 before or something like that, or 250, which is a bit narrower. This one is the MM350 and it's just like the large size one that's just like nice and wide and big. So you can fit a whole bunch more stuff on here. Like you can put your drinks on here, like my sneak bottle right there. And then uh, you can just basically have more space for activities, which I do enjoy. So the newest things about the setup are my peripherals. So you guys will see, this is the new Logitech G915 wireless mechanical keyboard. This thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, I will do a video on this because I got this thing for an absolute steal. Uh, as you can see, it's missing one keycap, but that is no problem because in the video, I'll explain to you how I got this thing for so cheap uh, and how I'm gonna replace that keycap because right now, these are not readily available from uh, Logitech. You can't just buy the keycaps from them for some reason right now, but there are places you can get them and I don't know if the person that sold this to me didn't know that, but don't worry, there's a, there'll be a video on this. And then to pair it with it, I got the Logitech G703 Lightspeed Wireless uh, Gaming Mouse. I've had my eye on this thing for a long time and I've wanted to use it for quite a while because this is just a straight up like FPS mouse and it's very ergonomic and comfortable. So again, I will do a video on this because I've been using it for a little while now so I can actually give you guys some experience, uh, some firsthand experience on it. Very awesome mouse, love it. I it's my This is my new favorite peripheral set, guys. Uh, just, just wait, I'll have a video on that pretty soon. Oh, and just so you guys know, these cool little 3D panels right here I got off Amazon as well. Again, I will link them in the description below. These things are super awesome. I don't even know where I found them. I was randomly searching for stuff uh, to put on the walls in my office and these came up and I was like, oh my God, these things are like look super, super cool. So uh, yeah, I just got them and I put them on uh, the wall right there and right there. And as you can see, uh, the way I mounted them, they don't lay completely flush sometimes. They kind of pop out, but uh, if you just kind of get more, um, what do you call it, little wall fasteners or whatever, you can get these to lay down fully. Um, but I just kind of stuck them on there with those uh, command strips that I always use for everything. Uh, and then again, of course, I'll link those in the description below because I use command strips for basically everything in this office, even the nano leaves right there. Uh, I stuck those in the walls of command strips as well, but I freaking love these nano leaves. These things make the office look so much cooler. Uh, I honestly want more, but they're just super expensive. Um, so again, those will be in the description below too. Um, but that was the kind of like orientation I wanted. I wanted to kind of put those in the middle and put these little wall panels up above it and stuff like that. So I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, I had a couple extra of these wall panels, so I just don't know where to put them. I may end up putting them over here because this wall has nothing. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll decide that later on. And if you guys were curious about the desks, these desks are from Ikea. I'll have them linked in the description below. I believe these are, what's the mud length of these? Like 50, 40, were they 47 inches, 49 inches, something like that. Uh, again, I have no idea, but they're from Ikea. Ikea legs, everything like that. Um, so I just put two together. And then over here, I got the Ikea Alex drawer set um, that goes right there. Um, and then I, you know, kind of complements these two tables and I think it looks awesome. And then more Ikea stuff right here again. This lamp is from Ikea and this little fake plant is from Ikea as well. So cool little touches you can put on your setup, make it look a little better. Um, and something else is from Ikea. We got to go under the desk for this. So we got those Ikea Signum uh, cable racks that you can put underneath your desk. You basically just drill them in there. So you can just stick all your cables and your power strips in there and kind of make it look cleaner. Uh, if you look up like, like this, you can barely see anything. Um, of course, over there, I couldn't do anything about that coaxial cable. The guy that came and installed that just made it so long that I honestly couldn't even fit it all inside the, uh, the Signums. Uh, so it kind of just has to sit like that. And I was gonna tell you guys, uh, this office literally only has two outlets in it. Yeah, I had to get my electrician friend to actually install that outlet right there because this room only actually had one outlet total. Yeah, old houses, guys. Just that's, that kind of stuff happens. So I had to do uh, some creative stuff to be able to get all my power to work. So I had to run an extension right there, as you can see, to that right there. And it goes over to a power strip over there. So I can actually have power on that desk. So I had to do a couple creative things to get this set up to work. But, uh, you know, here it is, guys. Here's the whole thing. 
I'm actually very stoked on it. Uh, I love it a lot. Uh, I really want to know what you guys think, so make sure you guys comment in the comments below if you guys think it's awesome or you guys totally hate it. Just let me know, but uh, I think it's pretty cool and I'm very excited to use it. So that is it, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing my new dream setup for 2020. I'm very excited about it myself. I can't wait to do some work in this office, uh, not even just like my regular work, but work for YouTube, putting out videos for you guys because I really enjoy it. I have such a good time making these videos for you guys. It's honestly something that I love to do, so I want to bring you guys a lot more content and you know, really, really push this, this year. So I want to really, really ramp up how much stuff I'm doing um, and, and make more creative content basically because I have so much more space a whole bunch of different ideas that I have with this space and uh, it's a lot more of a uh, you know collective creative type of area for me to gather my thoughts and put them into a video for you guys so if you guys really enjoy my content make sure you guys give this video a like if you guys learn something especially I really enjoy seeing that from you guys uh, if you guys have any questions comments or concerns about anything in the video uh, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and as always everything that I use in the video that may be of help to you guys I will have it listed in the description below so you guys can get those links and help me out with my Amazon affiliate links I really enjoy that as well you guys I really appreciate it when you guys actually do that and then uh, if you guys seriously enjoy my content and this video helped you out a lot and you wanna see more because I will be making a ton more videos in this space and put doing more videos on everything that is in this space, consider getting subscribed, hitting those notifications on so you guys can be notified when my next video or my next stream is going to happen. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Let's have an awesome 2020, you guys. I know I'm like two weeks late for this, but whatever, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.